a student has asked me he is a student of banker sadda sir i bought some package this question is there they solved it in a very long method sir can you please tell me 202 into 90 plus i want an anc approach for this question 300 into 101 write down next question 400 into 101 minus 505 into 101 these are some of old sbi po patterns question sir the method that is used is very very lengthy i watch anc channel every day sir please tell me with a shortcut question is 4 Triple seven three, next one five triple seven three, next three triple seven four. Maybe you might find this question in there. If any student is a student of banker Sadda, right? This is the question asked by a banker Sadda student. His question is, sir, this is the exact question which is there as a part of our material. Four triple seven three three triple seven three four triple seven three five triple seven three three triple seven four four triple seven four. Right? How A and C will solve this question? A and C method. If I were to solve this question, first thing for me fundamentals are very important. It is even. Ninety is even. Three hundred is even. Four hundred is even. Five hundred and five odd odd minus odd odd even minus odd number. Even minus odd number is an odd number. So this is out and this is out. This is out and this is out. First observation, just by looking at a question, I am able to eliminate option D and option E. Even, 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 even. It is even. Even minus odd is odd. Answer is an odd number. Is it buffering, Abu? Other students, is it buffering for you also, Beta? Is it buffering for you also? Is it buffering for you also? Kindly acknowledge other viewers. Other viewers, kindly refresh the page, beta Prayank, Abu. Kindly refresh. Other people, is it buffering? Is it buffering? Kindly reply it in the live chat. Kindly reply it in the live chat. Vijay says no. Rohit says no. Hiramat says no. What about others? Vikas says no. Vishnu, is it buffering? Kindly. Now it's okay. Shall I continue? This is an odd number, right? They have done a half page solution. Half page solution. This question I will solve. Next question, I can challenge you that you can solve the question in these ten seconds. These are very tough SBA PO questions. According to them, for me nothing is tough. It is always conceptual. This is divisible by hundred and one. 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 You might not have seen this concept anywhere. Please write down, sir. Please write down. This is something I am sure you might not have seen it anywhere. Divisibility rule for hundred and one. Divisibility rule for hundred and one. Listen carefully, sir. Reminder one. Ten square divided by hundred and one. Ten square divided by hundred and one. Hundred divided by hundred and one. Negative reminder is minus one. Hundred divided by hundred and one. Negative reminder is minus one. First example. Suppose if it is one two three four divided by hundred and one. One two three four divided by hundred and one. Can I write the question like this? It is nothing but twelve into ten square plus thirty four. Divided by hundred and one, twelve into ten square plus thirty four divided by hundred and one. Ten square divided by hundred and one. What is ten square divided by hundred and one? Minus one. So answer is nothing but minus twelve plus thirty four divided by hundred and one. What is thirty four minus twelve? Twenty two. What is thirty four minus twelve? Twenty two. Example one. I hope it is clear. Listen carefully, sir. These are some most often repeated SBI PO questions. Listen carefully. More than the answer. Listen to the concept. Listen carefully to the concept. Rishi, kindly listen to the concept, sir. Otherwise, you will miss the divisibility rule of a prime number. If I ask you what is the divisibility rule of thirty-seven, you cannot say. Right? I hope it is clear now. 
listen carefully sir i want to introduce new concepts to an already solved 60 70 simplification problems now if the question is second question listen carefully i am not interested in problem solving you know it very well 1 2 1 2 divided by 101 One two one two divided by hundred and one. After I will keep a slash after two digits plus and minus. I will keep. Why I will keep plus and minus? So it is nothing but twelve into ten square plus twelve divided by hundred and one. Hundred and one minus hundred and one is zero. Minus twelve plus twelve is zero. Write down as it is. This is a new concept. Write down as it is. you know that we are not interested in formula we are interested in not in problem solving but we are interested in learning concepts through problems the heroes of today's class are the concepts not the problems divisibility rule for 101 so after two digit number write down the third key point right third key point third key point very very important key point any two digit number any two digit number written even number of times any two digit number written even number of times any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by these all the concepts you should know it is always divisible by 101 the level of sbi di or other exams it has grown tremendously please write down this any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101 suppose if the question is 334 34, 34 divided by 101 34 is a two digit number plus and minus why it is minus 34 into 10 square 10 square divided by 101 is minus 1 so it is zero suppose if the question is 1 2 1 2 1 2 1 2 Divided by hundred and one. One two one two one two divided by hundred and one. Keep a slash after two digits. Keep a slash after two. After two. This is nothing but plus minus. It is plus minus. Answer is zero. Very very important point. Please write down any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by hundred and one. Any two-digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101. Any two-digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101. Is always divisible by 101. Is always divisible by 101. New way of solving simplification questions with already we discussed the unit digit, last two digits, digital sum, everything we discussed. I know that my students will be waiting for a lot of new concepts which they generally don't don't get to study in their coaching centers. Three hundred into hundred and one plus four hundred into hundred and one minus five hundred and five into hundred and one. Listen carefully, beta. Only if you understand this question, next question it will be very easy for you. Otherwise, you will keep. Three triple seven three. Question is four triple seven three. Next is five triple seven three. Five triple seven three. D and E are even numbers which we eliminated. See here, beta. Listen carefully. Here it contains hundred and one. 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 Answer should be divisible by hundred and one. Answer should be divisible by hundred and one. Once you understand the root cause of the problem, and you know the divisibility rule of hundred and one. What is the divisibility rule of hundred and one? Take a group of two digits alternatively, plus and minus, plus minus plus. Seventy three plus three is seventy six. Seventy six minus seventy seven is minus one. Take a group of two digits alternatively, plus minus. Plus minus plus seventy three plus four is seventy seven seventy seven minus seventy seven is zero. Answer is four triple seven three four triple seven three. I hope the logic is clear.
I hope the logic is clear. Our concepts, our way of solving is entirely different from the regular coaching centers. We will develop new methods. We will try to solve the question in seconds. That is our entire objective to make each one of you clear aptitude and DA in less time. Only two faculties will take the class. One is me. Another is my favorite student who have listened to my class for 350 times. I hope it is clear. Answer should be divisible by 101. Take a group of two digits. Alternatively, plus and minus. Right after the class is over, if any of your friend ask, this is what I learned from ANC, how you got it, you should be able to say with a lot of confidence. Divided by 101, why it is plus and minus beta? See here, can I write it as 4 into 10 power 4? plus 77 into 10 square plus 73 proof is also you require I want my students to be different from others 4 into 10 power 4 77 into 10 square plus 73 now see here beta 10 square by 101 is minus 1 10 power 4 is nothing but whole square right this is minus 1 minus 1 square is plus 1 I hope it is clear plus minus plus plus minus plus plus minus plus Hemant we have done so many questions on digital sum Hemant that is the reason I am discussing new concepts last class also we discussed a good number of digital sum we discussed a good number of unit digit right we can also do digital sum if the digital sum is same this is an another alternative approach our idea of discussing more and more simplification classes is not to solve the same concept 100 problems but to different new concepts i hope it is clear right beta hemant write down the next question write the next question right now kumar i will explain everything now because you asked let me solve two more questions beta priyank for you this one please write down the question Okay, before solving the question, please write down note few questions we will solve. Reminder, it is not only simplification, we should know how it can be used in number system. Reminder when 53271 divided by 101. Reminder when 53271 divided by 101. Immediately you should get the answer. Take a group of two digits. Take a group of two digits alternatively plus and minus. 71 plus 5 is 76. 76 minus 32 divided by 101. Answer is 44. Directly single step you are getting. Otherwise you will divide. Otherwise you will divide. Because single step you are getting. The idea is to make you solve questions in less time faster than a calculator or without using a pen 37 37 37 37 divided by 101 listen carefully to every question sir 37 37 37 37 divided by 101 what is that concept any two digit number written even number of times is always divisible by 101 answer is 0 answer is 0 one more question Tell me this answer. Directly it should tell you. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 divided by 101. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 divided by 101. Alternatively create, take a group of two digits. Plus minus plus. 23 plus 1 is 24. 24 minus 21 divided by 101 is 3. 101 is 3. Right? I hope it is clear. 